Hi, I am Dr. Mandar Deshpande. I am a consultant head and neck cancer surgeon at Kokila Ben Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital. I treat head and neck cancers. Now, these cancers include cancers of the oral cavity, throat cancers, laryngeal that is voice box cancers, thyroid cancers, salivary gland cancers. Now, these cancers are usually treated by surgery. Now, open conventional treatment of these cancers leads to significant structural that is cosmetic deformity. Not only that, it causes a lot of functional problems that is problems with speech, problems with swallowing, problems with chewing, even mouth opening. And that has all impact on the quality of life of our cancer patients. And to circumvent these problems, in last couple of decades, a lot of minimally invasive surgeries have been developed. Now, these minimally invasive surgeries, as the name suggests, are either with no cut or with a small cut. Now, one of these minimally invasive surgeries are robotic surgeries. Now, this is done in throat cancer. Now, in the olden days, a throat cancer was done with an open surgery which required a large cut on the neck, splitting up of a jawbone and then we could reach a throat cancer. Now, in today's day and age, we do what is called as a transoral robotic surgery where we go through the mouth, take out the tumour, we don't need to split open the jawbone. Another form of robotic surgery is what is called as a retroauricular robotic surgery. Now, this is done in neck tumours or neck lymph nodes. Now, conventionally, for in olden days, we had to take a large cut on the neck to do a neck surgery. Now, here we take a small cut behind the ear and we put in a robotic arm from there and do a neck surgery as opposed to a big cut by a conventional surgery. Now, there are other forms of minimally invasive surgeries like endoscopic laser surgeries done in early laryngeal cancers. Then we have a minimally invasive thyroid surgery, minimally invasive parathyroid surgeries. Let's understand that all these minimally invasive surgeries are as radical as open surgeries means they are as safe as open surgeries but with much better cosmesis, a good function but with much shorter hospital stay and a better quality of life. So to conclude, minimally invasive surgery in head and neck cancer is a new way of treatment of head and neck cancer which gives a very cosmetic way of treating head neck cancer with a small cut, a good cosmesis, faster recovery but with same cancer cure.